Hello coders! Screenshots are important tools that will help you show off your apps and help me admire your creativity and innovation. Sometimes students forget to plan their screenshots and it becomes nearly impossible for me to admire their work. For example, sometimes students will screenshot MIT App Inventor, go to a Google Doc, and paste that entire screenshot into the doc, and you'll notice it becomes nearly impossible to read the text and admire the creativity and effort that went into their work. Notice below on the block screen, it becomes nearly impossible to read their code and admire their algorithm. So here is a quick checklist to complete before you screenshot your app. In MIT App Inventor, you want to go over to the top right hand corner of your browser and look for three jelly beans. This will allow you to change the zoom level within Chrome. Notice that 125% removes some of the blank space in the viewer on the left and right side of my mobile device. This doesn't totally solve the problem, so another option is to change your window size. You'll notice that this new window size removes almost all of the empty space and now gives me the opportunity to screenshot my full user interface. So now I'm going to choose my tool. I'm going to start in the upper left hand corner up near the three initials that you should have in your app name and drag down into the right to the bottom of my components and my user interface. Notice that I do not need to select the properties portion of the designer view. This would be a very good screenshot to include in my Google Doc. Next, we look at the block screen. This one's a bit trickier and requires a bit more attention. Notice here that I have my blocks scattered around and it's difficult to read my code. On the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice there's a little target icon. When you click this target icon, it will resume and recenter your work to the default values. The good news is we can read the code. The bad news is we can't see the entire algorithm. So in the white space here, between your code, you're going to right click and you're going to look for enable workspace grid down at the bottom. This will create a grid behind your code. You're going to right click again and you're going to look for snap to grid and make sure that is selected. You want to enable snap to grid. Next, you're going to look for sort blocks by category. This will sort all of your blocks so that the variables are first your procedures are second, and any event handlers are last. Finally, if you right click one more time, you can choose Arrange Blocks Vertically. This is going to be the preferred view for your screenshot. At this point, you may be able to click the Zoom Out button, the minus icon in the bottom right hand corner, one or a maximum of two times and then drag to arrange your work. You'll notice that in many cases, you won't be able to screenshot all of your code in one shot. So you'll need to screenshot it strategically. In this example, I might screenshot my code on the left. That looks good. And then I might screenshot my code on the right. Looks like I can't get that all in one shot, so I'll do two shots. And then my third and final shot. Here. I hope this helps. I look forward to admiring your work.